I live and work in Mabantua, known as Alice Springs in the Northern Territory. We're not on the edge of the continent like most people in Australia, quite the opposite, we're more of an umbilical zone. Alice Springs has a perimeter, of course, which is not changing dramatically, but this is not where its edges lie. Like other urban centres, Alice has multiple levels and types of anxiety and many types of change underway, and I think this is where the edges are to be found. Travel, movement and transience are major aspects of the life of all cultures living in the region, historically and in the present. From early explorers to contemporary commercial transport, from the traditional indigenous nomadic life to contemporary movement between remote communities and Alice Springs, from the transient young white population on one or two year employment contracts to the seasonal grey, grey nomads who pass through every year, all have this condition of spatial transience in common. The variable band in the fence is an abstract map and is generated from a scan of a map of the Stuart Highway which runs from Port Augusta to Darwin. It includes references to the major towns and intersections along the highway in lettering that uses the cursive script of 19th century hand annotated map. The chapel serves the community of Alice Springs, providing a place for gathering, grieving and celebrating the lives of friends and family who have died. It's designed as a non-denominational space, open to all religions and types of ceremonies. A funeral starts when the venue is first sighted, marking the gravity of the occasion and the expectation of a shared significant experience. The six large sliding doors to the veranda are key to the flexible use of the facility providing openings from a single door width up to a 13 metre clear opening. Working with urban designer and architect Steve Thorne of Design Urban, we came up with a proposal to reopen the northern end of Todmall to traffic and to establish stronger connections between the CBD on Todd River, which is a beautiful natural feature with strong indigenous cultural values right on the doorstep of the CBD. Our intention from the start was to provide openness and visual restraint so the design would not be complete until it's occupied by people. In particular, it keeps objects and infrastructure either below one metre height or overhead to keep a feeling of spaciousness at pedestrian level and to make the whole environment more secure through maintaining clear vistas. Street furniture in the project is bespoke and multifunctional. The moth shade structures are an indirect reference to the Yipperinia caterpillar, one of the three dreamtime beings who created the striking McDonnell Ranges. The shade structures are cantilevered from single poles and designed to be linked together to create linear corridors of shade for pedestrians. The two-town analogy provides a way of framing the contemporary world that is not value-laden and recognises that people are living their own lives centred in their own personal experience and cultures and are not to be defined by comparison. Wenton Rabunja was a local Aranda man, an elder, artist and statesman who died in 2005. Late in his life he made a surprising statement in pronouncing that all children born in Alice, black and white, are all little Yivirinya caterpillars. He had the cultural authority to make this call. This statement includes my daughter who was born in Alice Springs and by direct association provides all her family with a relationship to the land. For someone like me with my foot permanently pointed to the exit door, this profound and generous statement gave me pause. In the role of ambassador to my town, Wenton Rabunja had effectively stamped my passport with an open-ended visa to his country and invited me and my people to develop a relationship with the land. Traditional custodian Doris Stewart can attest from a lifetime of experience that a real relationship with land is about identity, care and a deeply felt responsibility for the land from which there is no exit plan. <laughs>